In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Moods from Yanobox. Moods will give you a unique way to color correct and create dramatic looks for your footage. I'm in Premiere Pro, but Moods also works in Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, and After Effects. In the Effects panel, under Video Effects, click on Yanobox and then Moods to apply the effect to your clip. In the Effect Controls, you'll see the Moods effect, as well as the option to apply a ton of pre-made looks using the Presets dropdown. Let's take a look at a few. These presets are a great way to give your footage a unique look or use them as a base for a totally custom effect. I want to start from scratch, so I'll apply moods to my first clip. The first thing you'll notice is an on-screen interface that displays six interactive wheels for you to tweak. Displaying the help card will remind you of each wheel's functionality. You also have the option to dim the interface in the canvas to be as unobtrusive as possible while you color correct your footage. The first wheel serves two functions, brightness and saturation. Drag vertically to desaturate, and horizontally to adjust the brightness. The second wheel allows you to adjust the exposure and gamma. Dragging horizontally will adjust the white levels at the same time. Moving vertically will modify the gamma. Now we'll adjust the colors in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. While you're working, you can drag the compare handle at any time to show a split screen before and after. Finally, the last wheel allows you to add color to the shadows so you can create that vintage film look. The intensity of each wheel effect can be modified in the parameters, so it's possible to adjust each wheel without changing the hue. Moods has two color correction modes, punchy to quickly create a contrasted image and classic to obtain a more analog look. In punchy mode, adjusting the shadows, middle tones, and highlights influence the contrast quite a bit, instantly punching up your image. The classic mode acts in a more traditional way, where the shadows, middle tones, and highlight wheels don't influence as much the general contrast of the image. Here we have a cold look, but it's easy to experiment with a subtle color dominance to give your footage a particular feel. Now we'll color correct with moods in full screen mode. I'll select the clip and then enter full screen mode. Here I want something with more contrast, and to make the green in my image pop. Again, I can use the compare handle to see the footage before and after the corrections. Yanobox Moods is the perfect addition to your editing toolbox. Whether you need to do simple color correction or create a dramatic, unique look, the versatility of Moods is unmatched. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.